terrible situation, man. It's your boy was so, by the way. Um, it's a sad situation where neither party, neither gender would take responsibility for their actions. It is what it is. It sucks and it is what it is. Both genders are responsible for the demise of their own, I mean, for the, um, for the family and for the status of the world. And the crazy thing about that, and I mean, I, you know, it's something I want to think about. It's not just a gender thing. Nobody wants to take responsibility for their own personal actions because they want attention from the people. But you know, it's this. This I'm gonna call this a random rant. I don't know, but you, to think about it, why people? And I know I'm fucked up in the head. I know my face, I'm my head, and everything fucked. I'm letting my shit grow. Leave me fuck alone. And this dude named you know, was that Timothy Smith? This racist fucking asshole, nigga. Fuck you. But I thought about. I thought something about why people. Well, we as a people don't respect each other when they will respect like like Oprah's irrelevant. But I'm talking about like people like um oh what like Whoopi. I can understand Whoopi why she would defend defended Mel Gibson. It's kinda like we'll respect white we'll, we'll respect non other non black folks and defend them before we respect our own people. It's kinda like Americans. Americans are guilty of this too because, with with regards to grants, American government. How, and there you go, how corrupt the American government is. American government will give out grants to foreigners. They give out grants to foreigners before they give any grants to us Americans. Reason being because we know the government know why. No, I mean I can understand why that is because Americans Americans have a reputation. That's why we got to go through her, all kind of shit. And if you're a foreigner, you can end up pay that shit off. Because Americans, the government feels that Americans are not disciplined. And people, and foreigners, they can get a government grant start a business. Boom, there you go. It's, it's, it's when we, because we, I think a lot of times, that's why we sell out, that's why we, appear to be sellouts because we know how our own people are <laughs> and we know we can get better service if we outsource when in the long run we'll get screwed anyway i don't know that's why i always like you know <clears throat> stick with your grounds on other people lint season's over Good Friday's tomorrow. God bless all of y'all as we celebrate Easter. I want to let y'all know, beware the Easter nigga, no matter how he comes out. The Easter nigga's coming. I don't know, since my mother passed, Easter has always been, it just hasn't been a, a excuse me, a homely holiday. Crazy! I haven't spent Easter with my family at any time during the duration of two and a half men been on since '03. It's been since April 20th of '03 that I spent Easter with my family. But that's another story. I don't know. I just call this a random rant here. It's just like you know. Americans won't cut for each other. We'll cut for foreigners. The same concept of us black folks will cut for non-black people, especially white folks, in their wrongdoings. We won't cut for each other unless it's, unless it's tragic. It's crazy. Like with this Trayvon Martin stuff, why is it, why, why is the media, black women, non, these black activists, 
give a fuck. You know why? Because it's for monetary purposes. Black women want some attention. This is Trayvon Martin, and in a way, I say in my video, and I stand by it, black women, y'all don't give a fuck no more than the media do, or these or the Al Sharpton types do. Y'all don't give a fuck about Trayvon. Y'all don't give a fuck about anything. Women don't give a fuck. Fuck women. I became it. I've had pussy big intensities before. I have to read. I have, I have to really redo myself. But it is what it is. But it is what it is. That's why we don't, you know, um, cuff each other. We know how how we are. It's the same concept. Americans don't care about other folks when it comes to grants. Americans are quick, government is quick, American government is quick to give foreign its grants. Just like we as black folks will tend to non black folks in their wrongdoings. We'll, quick, we'll be quick to their defense. Because we know how we are as a people. And Americans know how, American government know how Americans are as a people. It's kind of like a trust issue. And I say this, deep down, black folks are like the crab theory. And it, it is. You have very few black folks that actually care about the black community, and that is very true. You got too many of these, I'm going to say it, niggas and black women that, that, that are so PC, they'll say brother this and brother that make all these pro-black videos, they ain't shit, and that makes me sick to my fucking stomach. It makes me sick to my fucking stomach. Got so many hypocrites out there. I'm going to say it. Any of us can be a hypocrite. Hell, I could be one. It is what it is, man. Let's rent a rent. I'm seven and a half minutes. But that's that's what's going on. And, you know, all y'all video responses me making videos in my car if I do it that's my business if I'm if, if I may be homeless that's my business y'all can cat bone me all you want to Mr. Timothy Smith you clan member that's why your monk ass don't show your face you some old white boy you probably some old peck of wood or you just some old self hating nigga Claiming I got self-hate. Talking shit about me. Capping on me. Because your you're, you're faceless ass nigga. Fuck you. Your troll ass. Monkey shit nigga. Fuck you. I'm in it with your ass. You are racist bigot. Nigga. Fuck you. In your monkey ass. Or the tree bark. Raw, no lubrication, with a fucking spiked up tree bark with some thorns in that motherfucker. Full of ants, full of fire ants and shit. About to crawl up your ass and lay eggs in your fucking body, nigga. Fuck you. Cap on me about that shit, bitch. Oh, that, no, what, excuse me. I ain't gonna call you no bitch because I'm gonna think about the dog. Whole ass nigga. You ain't light skinned niggas that much. And caramel niggas. You got issues that much. Your monk ass got self hate out your ass. Nigga, fuck you. Mr. Timothy Smith and niggas who think like you want to troll a nigga, talk shit all day. Because you got a. You ain't got no fucking life. You damn it. You got. You insecure about your own existence. Come fuck with us. And these, uh, e five, e, even e Mafa, whatever your name is, and Queen Common Sense. Oh, y'all, angry ass black, black women. Why the fuck are y'all so angry and bitter and want to be confrontational with niggas when y'all talk about pro blackness? It, it, just, it just makes y'all less undesirable. I don't know why these 
pro black niggas talk shit to me. I'm a black man married to a black woman. I'm a black woman married to a black. I want some proof. I'm tired of this crap time. These niggas, I, I, look, I'm tired of these niggas coming on to my, I'm a black woman married to a black man. I'm a black man married to a black woman. And we talking about pro black this, pro black that. Why you gotta even say that? If you are, you are. That's good on you. Most of these people just be full of shit. Life is what it is, man. I ain't got nothing to say about it. But that's a rant. 11 minutes of ranting and bitching and complaining. All I'm saying is, I can understand why it's good. When we as people, we as Americans, don't want to give no grants to other fellow Americans. We give it to government and we give it to um, non Americans. Same thing as us black folks support non black folks. Core reason why we know how we are, we don't want to be bothered with each other. Black folks don't like each other. Let's be honest. Black folks don't really like each other. <laughs> oh, excuse me, niggas. Not just not they just black folks, but just mostly, uh, primarily niggas don't like each other. Niggas and black women don't like each other. Woman is never nigger. The niggresses. The niggresses. Women don't like each other. We're crabs in a bucket. Our biggest pet peeves, we can't stand to see another nigga make it. A black woman's biggest fear is being submissive. Because in her mind, she's a woman, she's black, she's insecure. Black women are insecure. That's why they got why, that's why black women had to put up a front. Like they're strong and independent, but deep down, you're miserable. You're afraid. You're hurt. You're putting on these masky fronts. You got a boss black men around. You got a boss men who you feel comfortable around because you are insecure to the core. And you can't handle it. And that boss of people around give you all a rush. Give y'all a sense of purpose. Give y'all a sense of purpose to harass people. We as black men are tired of it. Y'all can't be honest with yourselves. Why, uh, you know, why be honest? Can't be honest with yourself. What's the point of you being who you are? Why well, be honest? Why even go on? I mean, stop bitching and complaining about this and that. It is what it is. We don't want to form no solutions. Further still, we don't want to act on solutions. I said that in that um, gender war video back in September. Back on Labor Day when I made that video. We don't like it. We like drama. Most of us like drama. That's why my thing is focus on the very few that matter and leave the rest to the snares. Leave them to the torment. Leave the majority to the snares. We did all we could. We're tired of it. It is what it is. It's probably the longest video I've, longest legit video I've ever made, but this is a random rant. YouTube, and it gave us more than 15 minutes. 
I'm gonna go on about it. Why people are how they are, I don't know. Honestly, I just, about like, what, half an hour, an hour ago, I drunk like 24 ounce beer, 24 ounce can of beer. I'm a little relaxed. I drunk a 24 ounce can of beer, had 8.1% alcohol per volume. I'm on point right now. I am what I am, but uh, anyway, Good Friday is about to go down. I'm hoping I can go to church on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, rather Saturday night. I really am hope. I hope I can. I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I may not get a few views, but that's me. That's me. That's me. What's going on? That's me. That's my life. 16, 22, 23, 24. Boy, do I look exotic. 28, 29, 30. Yeah, 16 minutes, 30 is some odd seconds. That's all I'm saying is, it is what it is. Just want to let y'all know. Watch out for the hypocrites. Tired of the hypocrisy. But you're going to have hypocrites out there. Don't get all emotional. Because that's the, that's, that's that spiritual warfare within us want to get emotional about things. Um, life is what it is. Just enjoy, just enjoy what you can. Sometimes I like drama. We all like drama. All of us, each and every one of us have some kind of need for drama in our lives. And that's a spiritual battle right there. And it's gonna be what it is for a long time. I'm pissed off at the black community. I'm gonna say this. Black people hate each other. We just do. Go no further say niggas, niggas hate each other. Niggas hate each other, man. And a nigga can be whatever race, but I'm talking about black folk, African American type niggas. Brothers and sisters. Well. Kind of debating whether I like black women or not. I love women. But women don't love me. That's why I have to be misogynist. Women can't love me. I don't really give a crap. I'm gonna make trying to make it milk every bit. 18, oh, 19 minutes. That's the longest video I've ever had. I'm gonna get this sucker out. Oh, man, man. Woo, yeah, that's good to get there. Ooh. What I'm saying is, it's just a random rant. I don't know if to call this random rant. I'm trying to make it last for every bit. It's been going on. As you can see, I can handle my liquor. I can handle 24 ounces. I'm a little relaxed right now, but I don't give a crap. That's me. Mammy. I'm gonna cut off on 20 minutes. Ooh. Oh, I'm at the pocket like the vomit. Ah. But that's me. Y'all, you know I'm saying this is just random rant. All right.